When Xtool approached me about reviewing their M1 hybrid laser and blade cutting machine, I thought, that sounds intriguing. I don't know about you, but there is a finite space for equipment in my workroom. So if I can combine two machines in one, that is something I can definitely get on board with. Secondly, because there are finite cells in my brain, perhaps it would benefit my workflow if I only had to remember how to use one machine versus two. With all that in mind, I set about learning the basics of laser engraving because I am a complete newbie when it comes to this. I wanted to determine if a machine like the M1 would be one, worth the time and effort to learn, and two, worth allocating the real estate it would need to occupy in my workroom. As far as setup goes, it's fairly simple. Unlike most laser engravers, the M1 comes fully assembled, which is awesome. So once the machine is removed from the packaging, you basically just need to plug it in. The tricky part is finding a place to vent the exhaust, unless you opted for the air purifier, that is. And because the optional accessories may cause the setup procedure to vary, I've made a handy playlist of YouTube videos featuring this machine to assist anybody who might need some additional instruction. It's probably no surprise to anybody who knows me, but I overthought, overanalyzed, and overstressed where I was going to put this machine in my workroom. Fortunately, I didn't have to build an addition onto the house, but I did have to redesign the storage closet in my workroom. I know it looks bad. It looks like a volcano of craft supplies exploded. But there is a method to my madness, so stay with me. On the other side of the wall at the rear of this closet is an outdoor storage space off the back patio. It's not Narnia. It's not that cool, but it is easy access to the outside. So this made venting the exhaust pretty simple. I just had to drill a hole through the wall. Easy peasy, right? Next, I got started on the testing phase. I downloaded the software that runs this machine, and you can get that at the Xtool website. And I was pretty impressed. It's not just a program for loading ready-made project files into the M1, but you can build a project from scratch with the built-in image files, fonts, shapes, etc. If you're familiar with a program like Cricut Design Space, you most likely will catch on pretty quick. But even if you're not, there is a growing number of YouTube creators who have uploaded project tutorials to get anybody started. Again, those will be in the playlist below. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. I want this video to be helpful for anyone out there like me who may be shopping for a laser engraver and also be a bookmaker, a paper lover, an obsessive crafter fill in the blank, and see if incorporating a machine like the M1 would be an asset and not just a temporary novelty. So for a test project, I attempted to make an engraved book cover. For the engraved design, I imported a black and white PNG file. I resized it to what I needed and added a rectangle cut line around the design so that the covers would be engraved and then cut out for me. You might be wondering what is underneath the wood inside the engraver, and that is a piece of perforated steel that I nabbed from my husband's metal scrap. I'm using that as a base when I'm laser cutting. And what it does is it raises the material off the surface of the bed and allows for more airflow, and that results in less charring and scorching and gives me a cleaner cut. Xtool offers a honeycomb panel that I'm sure does a much better job than a piece of metal scrap, and it is definitely on my wish list. For the cover material, I used some one and a half millimeter basswood that I got at Joann's in the Hobbywood section. After the machine did all the hard work for me, I gave the covers a quick sanding with some fine grit sandpaper and brushed on some stain. I also could have used a paint wash, 
just some cheap craft paint and water. That would have looked good too. After I let that dry, I rubbed on a little bit of gold wax, then finished off with a light coat of clear matte sealer. No, not that kind of sealer. Baby. Or that kind. This kind of sealer. Then I glued the cover boards to a strip of faux leather and bada bing bada boom, cute mini book with an extra special cover effect. If there's enough interest in a tutorial on this kind of cover, um, I might do a video for YouTube or at least a detailed post for the Patreons. Conclusions. As far as my own situation goes, yes. The M1 is definitely staying. It has earned a permanent spot in the workroom. And I really love that it's totally enclosed and quick to set up and start using. So if you are in the market for both a laser engraving machine and also need a blade cutting machine, maybe an all-in-one would be a good option for you too. Especially when you consider the price if you have to buy two machines that do these things separately, like a laser engraver and a vinyl cutter, and also the extra space that having two machines versus just one. Another thing to consider is if you'll be able to vent the machine through a window or a door or cut a hole in a wall like I did. Other options would be if you have a workshop or a shed or some space in the garage. That would be optimal. I was able to find a lot of reasonably priced project files on Etsy, both for engraving and for cutting or a mixture of the two. So that was really nice. But everybody's situation is going to be different. So maybe some things to consider would be, are you comfortable with learning new equipment or software, even if it is relatively simple? Are you willing to experiment with materials and settings? What optional accessories would you want or need? The working area inside this machine is 300 by 385 millimeters. Is that big enough for the projects that you would want to tackle? There's another project that I did, but I had to separate the files and do half the cutting in one go and then the other half in another go because the whole thing wouldn't fit on the inside. I mean, I didn't mind. It doesn't bother me at all, but Perhaps somebody else would rather have the convenience of having a larger working area. It's just something to consider. But, you know, I've barely scratched the surface as far as the potential of using a laser engraver. I'm imagining all the things I could do, like building miniatures and book nooks or gifts for friends and family, home improvement, home decor, and I'm excited to figure out some new ways to incorporate it into bookbinding as well. Just as an FYI, Xtool is currently running their anniversary sale with special pricing through October 6th. So below this video, you'll find some affiliate links if you would like to check it out. Thanks everybody for listening to me ramble about my new toy, especially if you've made it this far. <laughs> If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section and I will try to answer them. If I can't answer them, I can probably point you in the direction to get an answer. All right, guys, I hope everybody has an excellent weekend and I will see you really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.